Okay, so we are going to work on the relationship between area and perimeter. Remember, area measures the inside of something and perimeter goes around the outside. So, the rectangles below have the same perimeter. If the area of the right rectangle is four square inches, what are its dimensions? Okay, so we have two things we have to work on here. First of all, we know that they both have the same perimeter. So let's figure out what the perimeter is of this first figure. Remember, perimeter is the outside. And to find perimeter, you add up all of your sides. And what I'm doing here is I'm labeling my other sides, okay? So I will be adding three plus three plus one plus one. You can break it up smaller if you need to, but I'm doing it like this. 3 plus 3 is 6. 1 plus 1 is 2. So that means it is 8 inches. The perimeter of both of these is 8. So the area of this is 4 square inches. So I need to figure out what the dimensions are, okay? So let's think of it this way. What two numbers can I multiply together to get four as the area? Because remember, area equals length times width. And it might be a little guess and check. I do notice that this shape looks like a square. So I'm going to do try two and two. What is two times two? It is four. So that matches for area. Now let's double check the perimeter. If all sides are two inches, and I add two plus two plus two plus two, do I also get eight? I do. So that means the right rectangle's dimensions are two inches by two inches. Next one. The rectangles below have the same perimeter. If the area of the right rectangle is 12 square centimeters, what are its dimensions? So this is like the last problem, okay? We know that they both have the same perimeter, okay? And we know that the area of the green rectangle is 12 square centimeters, okay? But we need to find the perimeter. In order to find the perimeter, I need to look at the perimeter of this rectangle. So I have five, three, five, and three. Remember perimeter, we add up all the sides. So this one would be five plus five plus three plus three. Again, you can add them in any order as long as you're adding all the sides. 5 plus 5 is 10, 3 plus 3 is 6, so the perimeter is 16 centimeters. So again, this rectangle also has to be 16 centimeters. So I need to think to myself, what can the dimensions be that when I multiply them, I get 12 but when I add all four sides, I get 16. So for example, if I try two and six, okay? Is two times six 12? Yes, so that works for area. Let's try it with perimeter, okay? 6 plus 6 is 12, and 2 plus 2 is 4. So that equals 16 centimeters. What does that mean? That means my dimensions are 6 by 2 centimeters. Next one. Okay, again, they have the same perimeter. And the area is seven square meters. Okay, we need to know the perimeter. 
Let's figure out the perimeter of the other one. We have 5 plus 5 plus 3 plus 3, which equals 16 meters, which I know from my last one. So that means this also has to equal 16 meters. Okay, so now I need to figure out what two numbers multiplied together equals 7. Here's a nice thing. There's only one set, 1 times 7. So 1 times 7 equals 7. Now, if I find the perimeter, I do 7 plus 7 plus 1 plus 1. 7 plus 7 is 14, and 1 plus 1 equals 2. I get 16 meters. So my dimensions are 1 by 7. The rectangles below have the same perimeter and the area of the right rectangle is 10 square kilometers. Okay, so it's the same thing we've been doing. So let's figure out my perimeter here. I have 3 plus 3 plus 4 plus 4. That gives me 6 plus 8. So that means my perimeter equals 14 kilometers. My area over here is 10 kilometers squared, and my perimeter is 14 kilometers. Okay, so I think to myself, what can I multiply to get 10? We'll do some guess and check. Well, 1 times 10 gives me 10, but I know already if I did that for perimeter, that would be way higher than 14. So now I'm going to try 2 times 5. 2 times 5 is 10, so it works out for area. Now we check for perimeter. 5 plus 5 plus 2 plus 2. We have 10 plus 4. Do I get 14 for my perimeter? Yes. So my dimensions are 2 by 5 kilometers. Next, same thing. They have the same perimeter, and the right rectangle has an area of 12 square inches. Okay, we need to find out the perimeter, but let's do our perimeter of the figure on the left. So that would be 4 plus 4, because it's a square, plus 4, plus 4, which equals 16 inches. So that means we need this to also be 16 inches. Okay. Hmm. So I could do 1 times 12, but that won't work. I can try 2 and 6. Let's try that. 2 and 6. Is 2 times 6 12? Yes. So that works out for area. Now let's try it for perimeter. I would do 6 plus 6 plus 2 plus 2. 6 plus 6 is 12 and 2 plus 2 is 4. Put them together. I get 16. I have a match. So that means that my figure is 2 by 6. Next one. Ooh, wow, look at these. They have the same perimeter. The right rectangle is has an area of 8 square meters. Okay, we need to know the perimeter. Let's figure out our perimeter of our yellow rectangle. So it would be 5 plus 5, plus 4, plus 4. Okay, 5 plus 5 is 10, and 4 plus 4 is 8, so my perimeter has to be 18. Okay, so let's think about it, okay? What two numbers can I multiply together to get 8? 
I can try one and eight. Is one times eight, eight? Yes. Let's try it with perimeter. So my problem would be eight plus eight plus one plus one. Eight plus eight is 16 and one plus one is two. What do I get? 18, I have a match. So the dimensions are one by eight meters. Let's try another one. We have the same perimeter again, the right triangle, the right rectangle has an area of 12 square meters, of 12 square centimeters. Okay, we need to know the perimeter. Let's figure out our perimeter on the other rectangle. So I would have three plus three plus five, plus five, okay. Three plus three is six, and five plus five equals 10. Put them together, my perimeter is 16. So I need this to also equal 16 centimeters. Okay, so let's think. What two numbers can I multiply together to get 12? Let's try two and six. Two and six, two and six. Two times six is 12. Now let's add two plus two plus six plus six. Two plus two is four and six plus six is 12. If I add them together, do I get 16? I do, that means we have a match. So our dimensions are two by six centimeters. Next one, same perimeter, area of the other one is six square miles. Okay, what is our perimeter? Okay. Let's figure out our perimeter of the left. We have four plus four plus three plus three, because we're adding all the sides to find the perimeter. Four plus four is eight, and three plus three equals six. So eight plus six equals 14. So our perimeter is 14 miles. That means this also has a perimeter of 14 miles. So now I need to think, what two numbers multiply together that equal six, but when I add up all four sides with the same dimensions, would give me 14? Here's a hint, look at how thin and tall the rectangle is. That tells me there's a distance between the two numbers. So I'm gonna try one and six. Because one times six is six, and doesn't that make a skinny rectangle? It does, so it checks out for area. And then if I do it for perimeter, I would have six plus six plus one plus one. Six plus six is 12, and one plus one is two. I add 12 and two, I have a perimeter of 14 miles, so, one by six miles is the correct answer. Next one, same perimeter, and the right rectangle is seven square centimeters. Okay, that means because it's a prime number, my area of seven square centimeters has to have dimensions of one and seven. It's a prime number. Those are the only two factors that would work. But let's double check our perimeter for the other one. We have three plus three plus five plus five. Three plus three is six. And five plus five is 10. And six plus 10 is 16. So our perimeter is 16. So using one and seven, 
as my dimensions for area of the other rectangle. Let's add up all four sides and see if we also get 16. So it'll be 1 plus 1 plus 7 plus 7. 1 plus 1 is 2. 7 plus 7 is 14. And 2 plus 14 equals 16. We have a match. So 1 and 7, or 7 by 1 either way, are my dimensions. And let's do one more. Same perimeter. The right rectangle has area of 16 square millimeters. We need to know the perimeter. Okay, it does look like a square, so let's keep that in mind. Let's figure out our perimeter of the other rectangle. So it would be 3 plus 3 plus 5 plus 5. This is not the first time we've seen this problem. That equals 6. This equals 10. So our perimeter over here is 16 millimeters, which means this has to be 16 millimeters. Oh my gosh, my area and perimeter are the same. And my sides look to be the same. So what numbers multiplied together equal 16? 1 times 16, but that wouldn't give me a square. 2 times 8, that wouldn't give me a square. What about 4 and 4? Is 4 times 4 16? Yes. What is 4 plus 4 plus 4 plus 4? Guess what? It also equals 16. So our dimensions are 4 millimeters by 4 millimeters. Way to stick with it. Great job.